Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new my name is Julie and I do handbag reviews and if you're not new welcome back it's so wonderful to have you so today I'm gonna do a video about my most neglected bags in my collection and this is actually a tag video that was created by my good friend Caleb Snell and I'm gonna link his channel down below Caleb has an amazing collection of bags um, any any brands from Balenciaga, uh, Louis Vuitton, he has Prada bags, Gucci, he has so many gorgeous bags in his collection and beyond bags, he's just a wonderful guy and I really, really encourage you checking out his channel. His voice is great, he is just a wonderful YouTuber so I really um, recommend his channel. And then I was also tagged by Nick Snell. So, <laughs> They're not related, but Nick is also a great uh, YouTuber. He is across the pond in the UK, and I will also link his channel down below. And I thank them both for this tag. So I'm going to go over the bags that I don't use the most in my collection. Um, so I want to preface this. So whenever I'm not using a bag for a while, I go ahead and just part ways with it. I don't like having a ton of bags in my collection, actually. Um, right now, I think I'm sitting around, oh, just like 17 or so bags, which, um, you know, seems crazy because I do a ton of reviews, but, you know, if they're not working out for me, I just part ways and find something else that I know I'm gonna use. But um, I really wanna keep these bags and I just, um, you know, wanted to share these bags with you and why I don't reach for them. So, um, there, there's some from Coach, Louis Vuitton, and Longchamp is what I have here. So, um, to start out, the first bag is actually my Speedy 30 in Monogram. Um, this bag is so beautiful. It's the most classic Louis Vuitton bag, and I really, really do love it, I love the shape of it, and I'm a Speedy 30 classic girl all the way. Um, however, if I wanna use a monogram bag, it's definitely either my No EBB or my Delightful MM. Um, and if I wanna use a Speedy bag, it's either my Damiera Ben one or my Damiera Zor one. So, either ways, this one kinda gets neglected a little bit, um, but she is absolutely beautiful. This is an older bag. It's a, I think it's like a 2010 Speedy and it's practically brand new, but it's just something I definitely wanna keep in my collection just because it's just so classic. And I will reach for this um, from time to time. I'll try to do that. But yeah, for like right now, I'm just using my Demiara Ben one more and my Demiara Zora one more. So that's the first one. And then moving on to Coach. So two bags that are pretty much the same almost are these two bags actually. So again, I just don't reach for them that much. They're great bags. This was actually my very, very first higher, you know, I guess you could say higher end bag um, that I bought for myself. So this one's a not going anywhere it's the legacy hippie and then this one's just so beautiful um it's the alley bag and again just i can't explain why i don't reach for it but i think it's just because i mean it actually looks super cute with like what i have on it's kind of a little bit of a country vibe um i don't like country i'm so sorry if i'm offending somebody by saying that but it is a very much more of like a a country vibe and bag you know, it's just a vibe that it gets off, gives off. But um, so yeah, both of these bags don't get used a whole lot. I just reach for other bags um, from Coach. Just you know, not really reaching for them. So I'm sorry, you guys. But yep, this is um, two other bags I don't use that much. Okay, now on to Longchamp. So um, I love Longchamp so much. I think the prices are great and it's so easy to buy so many Longchamp because, you know, they're right around like $100, $150 and you can get really carried away by buying so many of them and then like not using them. But so these two bags in particular, I just don't reach for that much, but they serve 
like wonderful purposes when I will need them. So this one is my red backpack and I love the color of this red. It is so pretty. I love this in Colorado. Whenever we go to Colorado with my boyfriend and um, all of our kids, this is just so good for mountaining. <laughs> so I put this on my back, it's lightweight and it's carefree um, and I can fling it around. Um, but really it's the only time I probably use it is when I go to Colorado. And then this one, I just don't really reach for it that much, although I love it and I never want to part with it because I love this color. It's like a beautiful, you know, it's called acid. I mean, where they got the name for that, I don't know. It's just a beautiful green, greenish yellow and I think it's maybe because of the color that I don't use it that much. Like, I just don't know what it would necessarily go with, but either way the long shop bag that i really do reach for a lot in my collection is the lgp one that has the short handles with the crossbody strap and i think it's just because this one's just a shoulder bag um this is a great bag don't get me wrong but i like the versatility a little bit more of my lgp one that's the short handle with the long crossbody strap because it's just crossbody um, in fact, I'm going to feature that in another video here that I'm going to do for you guys is for my best crossbody bags, but this one just kind of gets pushed aside because of that one. So, you know, you can only wear so many bags, um, but yeah, these two, unfortunately just don't get the love. I wish they would. And then, sorry, if you hear my dogs, they're in the backyard right now. A bag that I never wear anymore, period, at all, but I did wear a lot back when I got it, is this Coach Tote. Um, I got this bag specifically for work, and it is actually um, a reversible tote, and I've got some junk in it, <laughs> but it just never gets used. It's I don't know why I never really got rid of it. It's just kind of been in the back of my closet, just kind of hanging out. Um, I bought it, yes, for work, for my laptop. Since I have bought my Longchamp large, uh, size large Le Pliage with the long handles, I've definitely used that one a lot more for work purposes and just basically cast this one aside. So I wanna say this is an outlet find and um, I just kinda wanted something that was very, you know, discreet. In fact, I used it on the black side most of the time for work you know, to be on the discreet end of things, but um, yeah, doesn't get used at all. And quite honestly, I'm just not like a huge, huge fan of the Coach, um, it's like a cross grain leather. I do like this material for SLGs, I will say, but as far as in bags, I just don't love the feeling of it. Um, just my preference, but either way, it just doesn't get used. <laughs> Okay, and then the last bag that I'm gonna share with you um, for bags that I just don't use, believe it or not, is my favorite bag. It's crazy. This one. I, <laughs> I've used this bag a few times. I shouldn't say I never use this bag, but I've used it just a few times, and I know why. I love crossbody the most. I love wearing crossbody bags probably the most. Now, and the reason why, you know, I just don't reach for this one is because it's just top handle, you know, or crook of arm carry. Um, but I'm not ever getting rid of this bag. I absolutely love it. It's stunning. It's everything that I am in a bag. It's my favorite color. I love this trim. I love Louis Vuitton silver hardware. Straight up, I'm addicted to it. So, yeah, it just doesn't really get reached for that much. I think that, though, I want to start carrying this bag with my Neo Noé black strap. Because I have the Epi Neo Noé in the black, and I think I want to start incorporating the strap onto this bag and just kind of hooking it here. Because I think the more versatile I can make this bag, the better it will be. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. 
If I'm looking that way, my boyfriend's outside hanging Christmas lights and <laughs> He's just wandering around the yard and it's distracting me, but okay guys, that is it. So not too many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bags. I just don't reach for that much. It leaves a good healthy, you know, 13 other bags ish that I do reach for. So I'm proud of that. You know, um, I'm going to start though, trying to, you know, wearing this bag more, this one, and you know, a few of the other ones. I've kind of somewhat retired out my hippie bag. Um, now this one, I'm probably just gonna donate to charity. It's got rubbed corners and things like that. But anyway, I'm gonna tag some other people down below. Um, what are your most neglected bags? And it doesn't have to be bags like you've never ever used before. Maybe just bags that you're not really reaching for like a ton, you know. Um, anyway, that's about it guys. I hope you have a fabulous week ahead and be on the lookout for my next video. I think I'm going to do a, um, a video on my most used crossbody bags next. I think that that's really um, interesting to know like um, especially for the crossbody style, like what are my, you know, I'm going to kind of tease myself here in this video as to what my um, top crossbody bags are. So thank you guys so much and have a wonderful week. Thanks. Bye-bye.